what are really client components? A client component is a component that needs to be instantiated in the browser uh, because they rely on code that needs either the DOM API, the browser API, or at least one of React's hooks or any other functions that are specific to the client. These components will never be able to run on the server. So the reason why you want to create client components in your application is because you want to harness the power that the browser gives you. If you want to show a very snappy and a very fluid user experience that reacts to the user actions, then client components are the place to encapsulate that logic. How do you define a client component? Well, it's actually very simple. If you're coming from React or if you're coming from previous versions of Next, a client component is essentially what you already know as a component. The only difference is that now we use the use client directive at the top uh, of the component, essentially the first line of the file has to have that directive. Here we have the application already showing me three different tasks for my user. And if I were to click on any of these buttons, each of these individual tasks will be updated to a done status on the global task context. And because of that, this message here, this batch, which is the indicator that we were looking at before, is going to be automatically updated. So if I were to click here, you can see that the task was immediately flagged as done. And that is what we just did. We had the need to give immediate feedback to the user through a change in our UI. So we encapsulated that logic into a small and very lean and maintainable component. Another thing to remember is that client components can be nested within other components either server components or other client components. Uh, but whatever component that is used inside a client component will immediately be bundled into the same code package, essentially, that gets sent to the client.